Hi guys, my name is Iberia Chigwe from Eric's Academy of Fashion and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this outfit. Well, more like a baby dress with illusion neckline. Illusion neckline is um, an outfit, uh, a neckline that has two kinds of necklines in one. So I'm going to be using this beautiful Ankara fabric and a lace fabric instead. So you can also do it for an adult dress. So feel free to stay on the video, like, subscribe to my page so that you can see more of these videos. So first you create a pattern for your baby dress. I'm going to post the link to the video in the description box below so you can see the link to making this pattern in the other video I'm going to send the link to. So after you make that particular um, pattern, you mark out the shape, this particular shape, you create your full pattern, then you mark out the sweetheart kind of shape. So we're going to use a bias for the neckline and this is the back piece. You see how the back piece looks so you can see the shape too on the back. So that's why basically we made these curves and these lines. So we'll place it on the lace and first of all we'll cut the lace fully. So for the back piece, the back piece already has a zipper. So we're going to cut the lace fully for the back piece while we're going to cut the front piece on the fold. So you can see what we have so you remove your pins and then you see what you have after that normally you could use a doll face inside but I choose to use Ankara fabric instead for the inside design so the inside neckline is going to be totally different but first of all I have to cut off the front piece first I have to cut the back piece first because the neck depth is a little higher than that of the front so I had to cut off that of the back first so now I'm cutting that of the front I have to fold off the zip allowance because the front does not have any zip up so I'm going to place it while the center front piece would be on the folded line so I'll cut it all through After cutting it as usual, I take off my pins and I can spread it. So this is the beauty that you have. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. You can get so many more tutorial videos. And please do let me know what kind of video you want next so that I can make the video and post on this channel. So after you've done this, you can either use a doll face to cut the inside, that's the shape inside. Sweetheart's shape now. You can use a doll face or you can use an Ankara fabric. In this particular case, I'm using an Ankara fabric. The other uh, baby dress you saw is one of my students' assignments. She used the doll face instead because she wanted to work with your net. So now I'm working with Ankara net for a tiny little baby. So I've cut the Ankara fabric and this is the shape. So I'm also going to take this fabric or the pattern to cut my lining. So I'll cut a white lining. So when in practice, when you're about to sew, you place the lace on top of it, on top of the Ankara or the doll face that you've already cut. So this is how it's going to look eventually. So you can see me tracing out the shape. going to cut along the line so that I can be able to get that shape I want on the back. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I have other videos on the channel too that might interest you so you can just take a look and scroll through the channel so you can see other videos you might want. So this is a back piece. I'm trying to recycle an old piece of fabric so I'm just placing it that way. I've cut the back piece and this is what it looks like. Isn't it just beautiful? Okay, so this is our pattern for the back piece. And this is the main fabric that I'm going to use in doing the lower side of the baby dress. So 
so I'm going to turn the main fabric with lining this on my belt. I cut my belt 4 inch by 28 inch length. So now you can see my fabric. I've already turned the inner part of the fabric with lining. I've turned the upper part, sorry, with lining. So you have to remove all loose threads. So I only turned the upper part. I didn't touch the sides. I didn't touch the armhole because I'm eventually going to turn the armhole with the bias. So for the side pieces, you pin them together and you stitch them together without making the main fabric and the lace come in contact with the lining. So you can see me pinning them like this. And this way. So when you get to the armhole, you can actually pin the armhole together with the lining. It doesn't matter, but when it gets to the side piece, you really need to pin only, only the lace and the main fabric together so that the lining stays apart. So you just stitch together to hold them in place before you eventually turn with your lining. So if you're working with a stony lace like mine, going to have to destone the parts of the lace that you stitch before you eventually start sewing. If not, you're going to have lots of broken needles and it's quite risky. So now we're done stitching, we're going to flip the lining like this. We're going to flip it over to the main fabric that we've now attached to Remember we didn't turn the base, we only turned the sides, so we're going to hold down the base to using a simple stitch. So we're going to repeat the same process for this one. So I've already turned the neckline, the second kind of neckline, with a lining, so I'm going to place the lace over it. I'm still not very comfortable with the way it is, so I'll still notch the lining now. Okay, just by half inch so that both of them balance very well. I have to flip over now and stitch. So without that notching, it would never really balance and I can't have access to do my stitching properly. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share. There are other videos on this channel that might interest you. So I've put in the link to the video on the pattern making. You just follow up the link and watch the video. So for the belt, I'm going to attach a belt to this lovely baby dress. But I'm actually not going to attach it to the back piece. I'm attaching it to this front piece right here. So you can see the line where I joined the belt. I'm turning it to the other side. I have to leave about one inch allowance from the waistline down downwards so that I can be able to attach the other part of the fabric to. So I'm going to stitch the fabric with a belt then I'll join the shoulder with 0.5 inch sewing allowance. I'm going to turn the neck with a bias, turn the armhole with a bias. I'm going to finish the neck and the armhole with bias and then I'll attach my gathered piece of fabric. heavily gathered it is. 
other fabric that's one down not the one up so that i can use the half inch to turn my lining so you can see i'm moving i'm moving the i'm moving the gathers away from the zip area so that we can have a flat zip area so you just move your gathers a little bit more pin them to the dress before you eventually stitch using 0.5 inch sewing allowance so this video is really a long one by the time you're done stitching this is what you'll have so i use my flay to flip over this way so you can see how lovely it looks i'm going to iron the sides and fix my zipper thanks for watching it's been a very cheap way from eric's academy of fashion to like and subscribe this video and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and share the